Hello and welcome my name is Amul and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a hamburger menu with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is going to be a very quick demonstration tutorial and we are not going to style it we are going to understand basically how you can create hamburger menu with HTML, CSS and JavaScript okay only JavaScript and CSS nothing else so here is how it looks at the moment no matter what screen size it's going to be it the menu seems to be the same okay so let's go ahead and add some functionality to it so as soon as the screen size reaches a certain uh, size or pixel size screen size it should have certain functionality okay so let's go ahead and do that this is basically HTML file that I have and within this HTML5 file, uh, file I've got just a link to standard CSS file that has nothing in it yet and I also have a link to script.js that has nothing as well so after that we have a header within that header as you can see I've got a logo kind of thing here then I've got a navigation that has an an order list and within that an order list I've got li element 5 li element and that's all we have at this moment so what we need to have basically first thing as soon as it reaches a certain screen size we want this to be disappear and we want a hamburger icon here just above that so for that we will create a div I'm going to give it a, a class name that is going to be ham icon okay and then just so that it look bit larger I'm going to put this in h1 tag so that is going to be a very simple one uh, the code for this icon is basically six and that's what it is okay so let's go ahead and you can see this is how it looks okay so we are not going to use any library like font awesome now what we want as soon as it reaches a certain screen size we do not want this to appear and as soon as it goes in the desktop screen size we do not this to be appearing so let's go ahead and fix this thing with style.css file and we are going to use media query so we simply type media and then first thing first we're going to have max width so max width is going to be 768 pixel I guess yeah 768 pixel so this means as soon as your screen size is 768 pixel or below this code will be executed okay so we want many menu item to be dis appeared as soon as it is it reaches 768 pixel so what is the menu class name is basically main menu so simply type main menu display none okay none okay so that's going to work you can see it here that disappears now what do you want the next thing is basically we want this to disappear as soon as we go beyond this, this uh, screen size okay so for that we will say media and this is this time going to be min with and that's going to be 769 just one pixel more more than the min width and this time we want 
make this disappear okay so basically ham icon and this time we'll say ham icon display none let's see what happens now that disappears and you can see so this seems to be working fine okay now there are a few more things we are going to use JavaScript and JavaScript is going to basically add an event listener and it's also going to add a class basically toggle a class to this menu thing here too. so JavaScript is going to add a class and when required it's going to remove the class the same class as well so let's go ahead and do this so basically what we're going to do we're going to create a function so function is name is going to be toggle class that's that's what it's going to do and then we will have the menu thing here so menu is going to be document query selector and the query selector is going to catch the menu so that's basically a class and here we are going to use menu and say class list class list and then toggle and then we'll give the name of the class that we want to add to this menu item so let's say so toggle CLS okay. okay and then so let's go ahead and check it but we need to add an event listener what you can do basically you can go ahead and try this one and so basically we'll say on click and let's see if this works so we are going to have a look at this navigation thing here so under navigation we, we have total class you can see so as soon as you click on it it adds the class and removes the class as well okay so that functionality is working here now what we need to do basically we need to write few more we need to display uh, the list navigation list as soon as the class is added so we will say main menu and then the class name so the class name is ham uh, let's see toggle CLS yeah toggle CLS and what you're going to say display block so let's see how it works so you can see the class is basically added and when you click it it's going to disappear and when you click on it it's going to appear so that's all functionality we needed basically let's go ahead and check okay so one more thing we need basically this must disappear as uh, go to this initial stage so we will say menu display initial just within this here so initial let's see what happens yeah so it goes to the initial stage and as soon as it uh, reaches or goes beyond that 768 pixel it goes to initial stage so let's quickly just wrap up it so you can see you can now basically see the HTML code mm -hmm. 
So this is the HTML code we have added the ham hamburger icon. We have a class. We are basically see this can be done a different way as well in this JavaScript file itself. So what we need to do we simply say let and then say ham burger and then you will say ham icon will be there. So we're going to get this class in here and what we are going to say now hamburger add event listener and the event listener is going to be click so click off as soon as it's clicked we want to execute this toggle class and this is going to do the same thing so we'll refresh it to make sure everything is updated and now you can see the same thing okay so there are two ways to execute the event listener here okay so i think this makes more sense now if you have any question you can leave the comment below so that's all we are doing here we have media query for uh, screen size below 768 and then we have a media query screen for the screen size beyond 6768 so that's the logic it's it's working well and we do not have to write much of javascript for this functionality if you have any question again you can leave comment below you can get all the code from the link below um, that's it for for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now